EMG electromyography EMG is nothing but a recording of combined action potentials of the muscle fibers of uh, muscle belly skeletal muscle we have different action potentials of uh, uh, different muscle fibers where we can record the summated electrical activity of uh, the muscle fibers in the targeted belly and we can precisely say it's a summated activity of uh, motor units different motor unit activity so the setup of EMG is uh, looks like this we have muscle belly the electrodes to active electrodes and uh, amplifier finally monitor of course where we install the software of EMG and further we can visualize these signals real-time signals and further for further analysis of EMG recording and by the by when do we require the EMG recording and mainly when patient found with any problem with the muscle weakness that is called muscle dystrophy or is there any problem with the neuromuscular junction example is myasthenia gravis or is there any problem in the alpha motor neuron or neuron which are supplying to the muscle belly for example peripheral neuropathy carpal tunnel syndrome is a example or is there any damage of anterior horn cell or upper motor neuron which are descending from motor cortex to anterior horn cell these are the indications of EMG recording however the EMG recording or EMG to be combined with the no conduction studies for the better result, result in order to identify where exactly the problem lies let us see how the EMG is recorded we have electrodes these are called active electrodes we have different kinds of electrodes surface electrode needle electrode fine fiber electrodes etc and along with we must have one reference or ground which is placed far away from the targeted muscle so these electrodes are the bipolar electrodes and these electrodes pick up the signals of action potentials when they pass from A to B these are the two electrodes just placing over the uh, one muscle fiber it's a representational of one muscle fiber where the initial electrode getting uh, activated when depolarization touches the initial A electrode A and as it moves so from A it records positive from B towards B it records negative as the electrical activity or action potential passes from A to B so it records positive and negative deflections of the electrical activity or signals from the particular muscle fiber so this is how one typical uh, the positive and negative deflections records from the fibers are picked up from the fibers then these electrodes usually uh, sends the information to the amplifier where it amplifies the electrical activity as well as eliminate the noise there are of course a lot of uh, noise from the surrounding electricity and all so that has to be eliminated or uh, purifies signals and uh, uh, the amplifier also converts the electrical activity or uh, into the digital analog or digital signals and thereafter it feeds to the computer where the software further highlights the final results 
with the different forms and the real time recording of emg looks like this contraction relaxation contraction and again contraction so the first one is uh, the contraction and second uh, line is relaxation and last bunch of activity is the increased contraction leads to the increased frequency as well as amplitude so the signal strength of emg recording is absolutely depends on the the amount of force being developed by the muscle fibers the rms the each data point is squared and then the negative values becomes positive mean is uh, determined from the square values the square root of this mean is rms the rms is nothing but the amplitude average amplitude of the signals so which is taken uh, here on the y axis and the force or the maximum voluntary contraction is taken on the x axis and the further we can get the the values like uh, the graph like uh, the linear exponential graph as amplitude increases the force uh, also increases the emg would provide the information of the time course of muscle contraction and the contraction force coordination of the several muscles in the movement sequence and these parameters are derived from the amplitude frequency and change of these over time of the emg signals and emg mostly preferred in many pathological uh, conditions which i have already touched upon in earlier slide